Hello and welcome to the second part of our anti-fouling tutorial. The next steps focus on repairing any damage, priming, and finally applying the anti-fouling itself. In this video, you will learn how to do this and what to look out for. If holes, recesses and cracks have appeared in the fuselage over the past season, these must of course be repaired. We will be using a two-component epoxy putty from SeaTech for the repair work. On the back you can read the application guidelines in order to avoid possible dangers and risks. The epoxy filler is composed of two components, the resin and the hardener. The two components must be combined and mixed according to the data sheet. Once all the requirements have been met, the affected areas can be filled using a spatula and smoothed. Once the hull has been successfully repaired, priming can begin. In our case, we will apply the two-component Epotech primer from SeaTech. Here too, it is important to pay attention to the application temperatures and other instructions for use. The lid can also be used as a mixing cup in which the two components, resin and hardener, can be stirred together. It is very important to stir the primer thoroughly and mix with the correct ratio. Without the resin, the primer will not hold. We recommend a short head roller for application and several paint trays. Small tip, paint in a horizontal direction first and then vertically in order to ensure an even application of paint and achieve the best possible result. Always use new paint trays as any hardened residues would dissolve and leave stains on your new coating. With a two component epoxy primer, it is also possible to create an osmotic layer and thus protect the bottom of the ship in the best possible way. For this purpose, the hull must be sanded down to the gel coat and painted with at least five layers, depending on the guidelines of the product manufacturer. The primer needs some time to dry. Make sure to not exceed the maximum time. Information can be found in the corresponding data sheet. The final step is to apply the anti-fouling. For sailing yachts, trailer boats and fast motor boats, we recommend the Sprint Pro anti-fouling from SeaTech. Pay attention to the safety guidelines and application instructions on the back of the tin. Paint the first layer in a different colour than subsequent layers. In doing so, you can always see exactly when your anti-fouling has been consumed and when a new coat is required. In our example, we paint the first layer in blue and all subsequent layers in black. For new builds, we recommend four layers of anti-fouling being applied. We also recommend a short head roller for application and several paint trays. Small tip, paint in a horizontal direction first and then vertically in order to ensure an even application of paint and achieve the best possible result. After the required drying time has been reached and the anti-fouling has dried completely, the boat can be put into the water with a new underwater coat for the start of a new season. 